If you want to see behind the scenes of a movie production, you should definitely watch our picks for the best documentaries about filmmaking. And when the film was over, I wanted to not be a director anymore because the bar was too high. Number 10. QT8, The First Date, directed by Tara Wood. It explores the early years of filmmaker Quentin Tarantino and the making of his first eight films, including Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Django Unchained. With intense insight into his filmmaking, screenwriting, and creative mind, this documentary uses interviews and archival footage of actors and creative collaborators to examine the complex man behind some of the most memorable films of the past decades. This is one of those gangster characters. This is how he's thinking, this is how he's talking, this is what his cadence is. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Number nine. Hi, Tim. This is Tim Burton, another one of our people here. Waking Sleeping Beauty is a documentary film directed by Don Hahn. Taking a look at the fall and then rise of the biggest entertainment company we know today, Waking Sleeping Beauty documents Disney's box office struggles in the 80s and the Disney renaissance in the 90s with classics like The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin. Using extensive archival footage to explain how directors like Tim Burton and Toy Story creator John Lasseter revived the studio, this documentary is a must-see for all true Disney fans. You know, he persuaded me that the issue wasn't the song, but other things that were not firing up yet in the sort of rhythm of the movie, and ultimately he was right, and not only did it stay in the movie, but one of the more memorable moments in the movie. Number 8 there was no going back. This was going to be what I was going to do, or I was going to, I was, I was going to die trying. Spielberg is a documentary film directed by Susan Lacey and focuses on Spielberg's formative years as a director, his rise to fame, and the ongoing influence of his work on the film industry. It features interviews with Spielberg, his colleagues and industry experts, and offers a comprehensive look at his life and career. Whether you are a fan of his movies or interested in the history of cinema, this film is a must-see. Surrounded the portrait with a mural of scope and epic action, but at the heart and core of Lawrence of Arabia is, who am I? Number seven. A group of artists and scientists have transformed two-dimensional drawings into their own three-dimensional worlds. The Pixar Story is a documentary film directed by Leslie Iwerks and tells the evolution of Pixar Animation Studios. It traces the studio's beginnings as a computer graphics division within Lucasfilm in the late 1970s to its emergence as a pioneer in computer animation and its eventual acquisition by Disney. The film offers an inside look at the creative process behind some of the most iconic and beloved animated films of all time and features interviews with Pixar's founders and creative talent. We've got characters that we want to come alive. Transforming the hand-drawn line into a new art form was no easy task. Number 6. My Best Friend, Klaus Kinski, written and directed by Werner Herzog. While some directors work with the same actors again and again, some relationships between artists grow a little more complicated than that. Throughout this gripping interview with iconic director Werner Herzog, we witness his love-hate relationship with actor Klaus Kinski and how their trouble getting along shaped both of their careers. Wir gehörten zusammen. Wir waren bereit, miteinander unterzugehen. Egozentrisch ist wahrscheinlich gar nicht das richtige Wort. Er war richtig in egomanisch. Die Erde, über die ich gehe, sieht mich und bebt mir nach. Number five. You are not welcome here, okay? You're not welcome here. All right, Lana? I'm not afraid of you. Jim and Andy, The Great Beyond is a 2017 documentary film directed by Chris Smith. Hidden behind an unseeming title, Jim and Andy is the deeply fascinating exploration of true cinema commitment called method acting, where actors go their utmost limits in order to take on the role. Exploring over 1,000 hours of footage from the set of Man on the Moon, we discover how acting legend Jim Carrey made through a haunting transformation into the role of Andy Kaufman. Andy, you are here to work. <laughs> Andy, Andy, Andy. Is that how you talk from Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Waller, huh? I say you talk. Andy, you got to give me a chance to make huh? a movie. Number four. You're one of the prettiest interviewers that I've... Uh... Thank you. You're one of the most gracious hosts I've ever met. Really? Listen to Me, Marlin is a documentary film directed by Stephen Riley. 
Few actors in the Hollywood industry have left a mark like the infamous Marlon Brando, who, while ambivalent, controversial and brilliant, lent his talent to some of the best movies ever shown on the big screen. With a never-before-published audio tape in which he reflects on his career and life choices, we witness Brando's personal life for the first time. What if you had spent Brando's entire life filming him, interviewing him, and you had all the recordings in one place? Well, it turns out someone did that, and that was Marlon Brando. Number three. It was a long shoot, and I had to cry and hyperventilate and carry a little boy and run, you know, for most of the time we shot. Stanley Kubrick, A Life in Pictures, is a documentary film directed by Jan Harlan. The man and the legend is finally explored in this documentation of Kubrick's early life, style, and influence on the world of cinema to come. With commentary from heavyweight stars and legends of directing and acting alike, we get to know the infamous perfectionist and his breathtaking craft much more intimately than ever before. It was a fascinating learning experience. It was such intense work that I think it makes you smarter, but I wouldn't want to go through it again. Number two. There was spring and everything came alive and it was better. I mean, after all, I mean, look at Vietnam. Look at my movie. You'll see what I'm talking. Hearts of Darkness, A Filmmaker's Apocalypse is a documentary film directed by Francis Ford Coppola. One of Hollywood's most acclaimed films to ever make it to the big screen was one of the hardest to make. With challenges exceeding the absurd and dangerous, from weather and drugs to disease and death, Vietnam War allegory Apocalypse Now became famous for almost driving its director insane, and now we can witness it all through the camera of his wife. Nothing is so terrible as a pretentious movie. I mean, a movie that aspires for something really terrific and doesn't pull it off is shit, it's scum, and everyone will walk on it as such. And that's why poor filmmakers, in a way, that's their greatest horror, is to be pretentious. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You can be running the camera and talking to the actor, starting over again. Reveal. And now you go around and look up. And they get down in there and they catch a thing that never would get caught. Sound affects us in a deeper way almost than, than image does. It goes deeper. I can't even count the number of times I heard Orson say, The greatest things in movies are divine accidents. Embrace that accident. And my definition of a film director is the man who presides over accidents. Number one. Dune will be the coming of a god. Artistical, cinematographical god. Jodorowsky's Dune is a documentary film directed by Frank Pavick and tells the story of filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky's failed attempt to adapt the science fiction novel Dune into a feature film. It explores Jodorowsky's unique vision for the adaptation and features interviews with him and other artists that created the most influential movie that was never made. If you are a fan of film history or interested in the creative process and the intersection of art and pop culture, this is your cup of tea. Do you agree with our list? please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.